Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. It's still early in the season, but a lot can be learned from early matchups in conference play. Time to take you out to the Pac-12. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. casinos here in Las Vegas and that's where our college football battle will go down and now it's time for the coin toss and it's brought to you by Coke Zero real Coca-Cola taste zero calories enjoy everything Harris has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game. Here we go, folks. Chavez fields it at the two. Tackle at the 23. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. to the sophomore. He's tackled at the 27. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Complete across the middle. And down he goes, around the six-yard line. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. Moves up in the pocket, and down he goes. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see, is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. From the 12-yard line, second down. Got his receiver, touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A nice six-play, 77-yard drive, and they put up seven points. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. So our score, 7-0. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 28. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays. But if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. Second down, 13 yards to go. Ball on the 24. They'll spread the field with five wide. 
quick throw, and he's hit immediately. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws this one out to the right. They can't connect. Incomplete. That would have been a great play if the throw were just a little bit more on target. Hearn to punt. They'll bring him down at the 40. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Washington State is up a score. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That's a D3 on the play. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Halfback hauls it in past the marker. Tackle made at the 18-yard line. Johnson's on the tackle at the 18-yard line. That makes it first and ten. back to the tailback but he can't bring it in you know sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying throw it throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm stepping and throwing and that time he aimed the ball and it was incomplete he's knocked out of bounds around the 15 yard line that makes it for Throws this one away. They'll line it up for the field goal. Washington State can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The kick is up, and it splits the uprights. The Cougars saw one of their top players go down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff from the eight-yard line. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. Pass incomplete. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on their own 31. Mike 51, Mike 51. Quick throw to the tight end. And he's tackled around the 40 yard line. Two-yard line. First down, pick up by the tailback. You can see how comfortable this guy is with that football in his arms. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 47. There's nothing more effective that a team can do offensively than to pound the ball right at the defense, trying to wear them down. Into the 
tailback, and he's met in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 37 yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 37 yard line. That brings us third and 12. Going for it all to the end zone. He caught it. Touchdown. They look awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He makes the PAT. A quick update now. Here's Reese. The Pirates of ECU on the field in Greenville. And for ECU, they look to start their season off on the right foot. The Pirates are on top, 7-0. In another game, the Horned Frogs come into the game ranked number 13 in the country. And for TCU, they're looking to win two in a row. The Horned Frogs are on top, 10-7. Thanks, Reese. 10-7 in this one. UNLV to kick this one off. King from the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Washington State's got a great offensive game plan in this one. Well, they are off to a great start. And sometimes you lose your focus when you start this fast. I think a challenge for them is just to maintain what they've done up to this point. Keep that foot on the accelerator. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Washington State is up by three. And he's tackled right away. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. to his receiver and they make the stop at the 46 yard line that gives him 100 yards in the game you know if you were to ask this defense who wants to cover this guy i bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them looks left finding his tailback tackle around the 38 yard line a long ways yet to go but at the end of one washington state's got a three-point lead Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. This one's going deep to the end zone. Through his hands. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. it out to about the 30. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Throws and it's incomplete. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. That makes it second and ten. From the 30 yard line, it's second down. Washington State holds a field goal lead. Goes to the receiver, incomplete. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. They'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. Not 
to the receiver, and it's knocked away. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 13. He's going left. Quick throw. Caught. Touchdown. And he hits the PAT. It was an 11-play, 70-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Snyder, ready to kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 33-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he carries the ball for a nice game. From their own 38 yard line. Third down. Caught open field. And he shoved out of bounds at the 48. under some heat and they bring him down for a sack on the play call it a loss of four yards on the play that makes it second and 14 looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack it's second and 14 fires it out He's tackled around the 50-yard line. With the tackle the 50-yard line. That'll bring up third and eight. And down he goes at the 26. Taken down at the 12. second catch for six he's registered today the quarterback knew exactly where to put the pass and the receiver went out there and made the grab good communication there the draw within a field goal and he converts the extra point so that's an eight-play, 68-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. The score now, 17-14. King from the six. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? 
Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Washington State has a three-point lead. Feeling the pressure, and he fumbles the football. They'll get him for a loss. The Cougars will use their first time out of the half. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Looks to the back and can't connect. Gets out to around the 38. Call it a gain of 20 yards. That makes it first and 10. Double tight. Four down, four down. 41's coming. 41's a bike. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Rally. 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 Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. Yes, this was the intention. This is the That makes it second and 10. It's second and 10. Ball on the 38. Cavalry's coming. Throws it deep. Almost picked off. This unit has quick hands, and they showed it there by knocking away the pass. Washington State is up a field goal. Got the corner. Williamson fields it the 31. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. That makes it second and ten. From their own 35-yard line, second down. He goes out of bounds, right around the 42-yard line. That makes it third and three. They call it a catch, but the boots signal down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review the play, the ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Perry on the intended receiver on the play. That brings us fourth and three. Chavez, back to return it. <laughs> Tackle at the 31. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Washington State is up by three. <laughs> He lets it fly. He's got it! Tackle made at the 34-yard line. Huge play for both the quarterback and receiver, but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw.
Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 16. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Wildcats roll into today's game ranked number 19 in the land. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Kansas State, they love to unleash their running attack. A nifty zip into the end zone for the score. The Wildcats are on top, 14-7. All right, thanks, Reese. Snyder has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 22. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. Quickly incomplete. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. From their own 22 yard line. Second down. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. Walter gets eight yards on the play. Washington State's called their final timeout. Hearn awaits the snap. And he's tackled at the 43-yard line. Washington State's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability, and just a lot of, just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Nearly intercepted. Fires complete over the middle, and he's tackled around the five-yard line. Spikes the ball. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. the gut. Walter picks up five with the carry. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 30. Three down, three 
One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Wants to go long and does. And that'll do it for the first half. 27-14, Cougars. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This first half not going to go on either defensive coordinator's resume reel. For sure, they're not sending this out and saying, hire me, because they couldn't stop anything. We always talk about adjustments at halftime. What kind of adjustment can you really make? Is this more X and O, or is this more effort, attitude, and, and getting a little nasty? Well, the first adjustment you make, Reese, is tearing the game plan up, because that didn't work. I mean, we're going we're gonna to have to find some new defenses. You always come into the week and come into that game, and you think you have a plan to, to, to stop a designed offense. It's not working. You've got to do something a little bit different this second half. They, they, they planned all week. They didn't plan properly. They've got to find some new ways to, to put pressure on the quarterback and make things happen on defense. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle at the 37. Seven yard line. Second down. He fights forward to about the 39. Bring him down to the 37 yard line. That is a loss of two yards. That'll make it fourth and ten. Chavez is back to receive. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. And for sets, he's had a great game catching the ball. Well, not only is he having a great game, but he also just seems to be having fun out there. I think the entire offense, for that matter, the entire team, seems to be responding to his infectious attitude. His yards per catch average is in another stratosphere. He came out with intensity, and so did his teammates. They're looking to add another score and keep this machine humming. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Three down, three down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he finds his tight end wide open. Brought down around the 43 yard line. First down. In the shotgun and five wide outs. He airs it out. The throw caught. Touchdown. That's his fourth touchdown pass of the game. Well, he's shown such great poise back there in the pocket. That's the main reason he's been able to find the end zone so many times. And 
and he tacks on the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese The Wildcats enter today's game ranked 19th in the country, but eager to show America why they deserve to be ranked much higher. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. And for Kansas State, they're looking to win two in a row. And for Denman, he now has two touchdown passes. The Wildcats have the lead, 21-14. 20-point ball game, Reese, here, 34-14. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The Rebels have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Well, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock, just go out there and try to get a first down, try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. That'll make it second to seven. He's on the run. Makes it out to about the 36. He might have a chance. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. He's got it out to his tight end. And down he goes at the 41. That'll bring up second and three. And he's taken down around the 28-yard line. He's at the 20. He's tackled around the 14-yard line. First and ten. Ball of the 14. And they make the stop at the 13-yard line. That makes it second and ten. He fights forward to about the 13. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. The Cougars had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you can say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Number 84, the intended receiver play. Third and 11. Ball on their own 31. Rock 
Here's the halfback on the screen. Tackle made at the 31 yard line. Fourth down. Bass to punt. Williamson takes it at the 33, gets to about the 44-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled right around the 48-yard line. He makes his way out to about the 35. Makes it out to about the 26. That brings up second and one. Larry, Larry. Mike 13, Mike 13. Yeah. Tackled after a decent pickup. yard line. It's second down. We played three, and this one's pretty much gone as expected. Washington State's lead is 17. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Third and eight. Ball on the 21 yard line. Mike 13. Mike 13. Reach out. He's in trouble. Almost intercepted there. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. With a quick throw. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. And for Neal, he's got another touchdown catch. His third. Yeah, this guy's in his zone. He's catching every single ball thrown his way. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, the Horned Frogs were ranked number 13. They took care of business, and they should hold their spot next week. And for TCU, they've won two straight. TCU gets the W, 30 to 7. All right, Reese, back to our game. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. King fields it at the 7. Tackle at the 29. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Oh, he's obviously come in here with a plan. He knows what he wants to do, and he's just getting the job done. And this is just one of those strong performances by a quarterback. But let's not forget, he's not doing it alone. His wide receivers have come up big as well, and they've made a lot of good catches to be able to help him out and come up with some big plays. 
He'd love to keep the offense rolling along here and get even more separation. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle at the 48. They'll bring him down right around the 36 yard line. Steps out of bounds at about the 27 yard line. Sets them up for the first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Fires it out. Brought down the seven yard line. Black on the tackle at the seven yard line. That brings up second and goal. They're at the seven. Second down. And he converts the extra point. Snyder looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. Gets out to about the 21. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Just under three to go in regulation. He might not be able to get the pass off. And as he throws it, this one's going to be intercepted. He's taken down at the 36. Not a good decision there. Why do he even throw that pass? Well, it's a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. Man, From the 36-yard line, first down. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. the gut and they got to him before he could get back to the line there are two minutes to go in this football game runs it and he stops short of the line of scrimmage
goes out of bounds at the 20. That brings us fourth and seven. They'll call on the field goal unit here. Under a minute left. The kick is up, and it's puts the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. From their own 22-yard line, second down. That quickly incomplete. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And down he goes around the 23 yard line. A gain of one. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. Hearn awaits the snap. He dropped it. He makes it out to midfield. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He'll go down to one D. That's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one, Washington State 24, UNLV 24. UNLV 24. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye and we'll see you next time.